I'm Kate Burns. I'm the Education Specialist for the Portland Art Museum. Hi, I'm Jillian Ponska. I am the Artist and Family Program Specialist in the Education Department. And we are standing in front of the Dan Flavin. It's entitled Untitled to Donna, number two. And um, this piece is, uh, was created in 1971 by Flavin, like five or so years after he started creating works mainly of fluorescent light bulb fixtures. Right, so it's made completely of fluorescent light fixtures, um, two vertical pieces that are faced towards the wall and two horizontal pieces that are faced towards the viewer that are both yellow. And the ones that are facing the wall are blue on the right and red on the left. Well, it's not red, actually. It's more of a pink, so it makes me wonder, kind of, was he going for primary colors and then he couldn't find a red? The, Do you know what colors he had to work with, Kate? I know that the, uh, the fluorescent lights that he was using were available in about 10 different colors, mm -hmm. and they were red, blue, green, yellow, pink, okay. and, and some different variations of white, okay. so um, some of his work does have red in it. Um, mm. But I think in this case... You know, maybe he was trying to do something different. I don't know. Hmm. But I really like how, you know, the, the pink is on the left-hand side of the piece, but it casts a pink color field of light on right. the right-hand side of the wall. Really this um, this piece is, it. yeah, mm -hmm. this piece is butted up against a corner of mm -hmm. the gallery. And I think, I think he probably, you know, would have put that piece in the same place if, if he had a choice. It's very specific to the corner. Um, and also... If the wall wasn't white, it would be a different work of art as yeah, well. Yeah, that's really interesting too. Mm -hmm. It's interesting how the wall is really flat. Um, it, it almost looks like it's the main part of the piece. Yeah. That the um, materials that he's working with really frame the wall like a picture frame would frame a painting. Yeah, it does. And it, it kind of flattens the space. I guess it almost obliterates the corner. Yeah. You know, the space plays a large part in this piece. And if you're looking straight on and you're not looking at the floor, you, you might not even notice that it's mm -hmm. in a corner. And I, I think that's kind of what he's going for, too. Yeah. He really did want to work with the light and not mm -hmm. the aesthetics of the piece. Mm -hmm. It's interesting that Flavin made a corner as beautiful as a painting. He definitely did.